Hey guys, it's Ankita. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a one hour get ready with me for my birthday. So let's begin. So I'm starting off with this rosehip oil from Whole Foods and just basically massaging it into my face and prepping my face with it. Then I'm using the Estee Edit Primer Stick and not only does this blur your pores but I find that it's very moisturizing as well. Next I'm using my Glossier Future Dew Serum and applying this to my cheekbones. This helps my skin glow from underneath the foundation. This is actually my first time testing out this product and I realized that I love wearing this when I'm not wearing any other makeup because it makes my skin look super radiant. And we love ourselves some radiant skin. So speaking of, I'm going in with the Glossier Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint as my tinted moisturizer today. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been obsessed with this product ever since I bought it. It gives you an even skin tone while still staying true to your skin texture. If you know, you know. The concealer that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 30 Honey. This is just a classic drugstore concealer and I'm just using it under my eyes and anywhere I have problem spots. So let me tell you about this Kat Von D translucent powder. I literally got this as a Sephora sample for one of my birthdays like two years ago and it still lasts me to this day so either I never apply enough or it just lasts forever. Moral of the story, always pick up your Sephora birthday presents ladies. Now I'm going into my Too Faced Brow Envy palette and just filling in my brows with the dark brown shade. Then with the setting wax, I'm taking a brow brush and just combing upwards to set the brow hairs in place. And I love combing my brow hairs upward instead of to the side because I love that fluffy brow look. And now that our brows are on fleek, we're moving on to the next step, which is the eyeshadow. So I'm actually going into the Park F Princess palette by Tarte, and I'm taking the shade Angle, and I'm using that as my eyeshadow in the crease. I'm really not doing anything too fancy, I'm kind of just staying to a more natural eye look. For my lid, I'm using this light color in the shade Enhance, it's from the same palette, and I'm really just applying it to make a nice contour between the lid and the crease. Now I'm using my Estee Lauder eyeliner brush to wing my eyeliner, but I'm actually using the brow shade that I use, so it's kind of more soft and subtle. Using the ELF Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray, I'm spraying my face so that my face makeup is locked and loaded. This Huda Beauty Nude Palette is just the prettiest palette ever, so I'm taking this super cute purpley shade and just adding a liner above where I already placed that sultry eyeliner. This glitter wing is just going to give my makeup some character since I decided to go on a very natural look today. I'm just using an angled eyeliner brush to place this shadow. Now I'm just applying like a gray black eyeshadow on my lower lash line just to make the makeup look a little bit more sultry. Now I'm using the ELF 3-in-1 mascara for my lashes. I have a more in-depth tutorial on how I apply mascara if you'd like to watch. I'm rushing my contour a bit because I had to make a train, but I just used that Princess palette from Tarte and basically just lightly dusted some contour on my face, on the corners of my forehead and just beneath my cheekbones. Now I'm taking the blush side of this MAC Studio Duo and just applying it to my cheekbones and blending it upwards. Taking my Clinique Chubby Stick Highlighter and applying it to the bridge of my nose and all the places that I'd normally apply highlighter. I didn't apply too much of the Glossier Future Dew before I started applying my makeup, so I'm just going back in and applying it above my cheekbones and bridge of my nose and all of that. This Glossier Generation G lipstick in the shade Leo is my absolutely favorite brown. I think it's a great brown nude shade for darker skin. That's it for my birthday brunch look, which was back in March by the way. Here's the full look. You guys can go to my Instagram if you want to check it out. Bye and thanks for watching.